Hello guys, welcome to another Code Hub tutorial. In this tutorial, uh, we're gonna cover how we can seed uh, our database. So if you remember in previous tutorials, we will have to manually log in and you know create a user and then you know basically register and maybe post something and then reply to it. So we can see that everything works. But what we can also do is we can we have these. Um, if you open your composer that JSON. You can see that we have a package here which is called faker let me find where that is here as you can see here faker and what this does is it can it can create data for us and we can basically pre-populate our database with certain you know posts and replies and users so when we come in here and we basically when we run our migrations we can also see our tables with data and then when we come in here we can see the site um, and how it's supposed to look with all the replies, the users, and and the and the post. So to do that, uh, we're gonna learn how to do that today. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead under our database here, and migrations, and open the categories migration here. Let me find which one that is. So I'm gonna open the categories migration, and I'm gonna in here. I'm gonna pre-populate some. Uh, some categories for us since before we didn't we had to manually go into our database and pre-populate that so if I go back here and if I go into our categories we don't have any categories we have some here but if we what we want to do is we want to pre-populate instead of manually inserting it like we did before so to do that we're just gonna run this database command so you do DB and then you type table and you specify which table in our case is the categories table so in the categories table what we're gonna do is insert some data and all you all you gonna do is once you insert it you just gotta pass it the accepts arrays so in here what do we really need for this is just the name actually because the ID would automatically is an in, um, index um, primary key so it will be auto incremented by itself so all we need is actually the um, the name to pass in so what I will do is I'll pass in the name and I'm gonna create a category called PHP and then another category called Java and another category and this category I will call the C++ and I think that's it. So I will just create three categories and I'm gonna save this. Okay, so once we done this, now what we need to go is under databases and we have this folder called seeders and you see here database seeder. So if you run the seed command when we're migrating, it's gonna call this file and in here is we need to specify which seeders we wanna run. So in here you see they already have a user table seeder which we need to create to populate the users table. But we also wanna populate two more tables so we will do this and then call and then another table we want to populate is the post so I'm going to call it post table seeder and class and the last table we need is the replies so I will do this call reply table seeder and class Okay, so again, when, when when we call when we run the migration and we specify that we want to seed uh, the tables, it's going to call this file, and then through here, it's going to individually call those uh, uh, others uh, these three seeders uh, one by one. The order here matters, so make sure first is the user, then is the post, then is the reply, and the reason is because uh, within the post table, the we have a foreign key of the user. So if the user table is not seeded yet, and we try to seed the post table, this will fail because there are no users yet. So we can, uh, and this is looking for a, a foreign key, which is the user ID. And the same thing here, we need the post ID in order to populate uh, to place it in, into the reply, since the post ID is the foreign key in the replies table. So make sure this, uh, make sure you get the order right. Otherwise, you will get an error. Now that we have this, let's go ahead and run a command called php artisan make and then we're gonna make a seeder. So seeder and I'm gonna call it user table since that is the first one we need, seeder. And I'm gonna mask the name that I specified there. 
now that I ran this command I will go here and we should see a user table and in here make sure that we since we need to use the user uh, model make sure you include that so you're gonna say app and user this is where our model is if I go open app and I see the user model here so that's why I will specify that path next we're gonna use uh, that package that we talked about which is called faker so let's instantiate that so I'm gonna say faker faker factory and create now that we have instantiated this just do a for each loop so I'm gonna do for each and I'm gonna say range and what this means is uh, from 1 to 25 so basically uh, uh, 15 I'm, I'm just gonna create 15 users so basically I'm, I'm telling it I want to create 15 users go from 1 to 25 and as index and in here I'm gonna say user so use the eloquent model user and I'm gonna create a user so now what do we need for the user I'm gonna go back here in my local host I'm gonna click on the users table and I'm gonna click on structure and I'm gonna see what do we need what data so make sure I have all that so we need a name first of all that's simple all we gotta do is say faker and give us a name and faker will give us a name now that we have the name next thing we need is an email so I'm gonna say email sorry email and then faker email and faker will generate an email for us here we generate a name and we generate an email and next thing we need is a password so password and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hash so I'm gonna hash make and the password for all the users here I will make it password and we don't need the remember me token or the created ad or updated ad dates you can put those if you want but let's just put the created ad the updated dates so I'm gonna say here faker give me a date time so once I have that I will do the updated at and same thing I'm gonna type faker and date time okay so this will take care of populating the users table so we have an we're gonna create a name and email a password and when it was created an updated at now we need another one so the other thing we need is the as we specified here is the post table so let's go back here and run the same command and I'm gonna create a post table and I'm gonna create a replies table too I'm gonna just do both of them now so in in this way we don't have to come back here and run the same command So I'm gonna create a replies table as well okay so now we have all that so let me do the post table next and simply I'm gonna need this two and I'm gonna include those right here and let me align this very a little bit so you guys can so we same thing we need we need to instantiate faker since they will be called individually here in this order so and then we will need to use the we're gonna go within app models and then the post model okay so now we have and if you can see here app and then within models we have the post there okay so now that we have this I'm gonna go ahead and create 25 posts instead of 15 and now uh, what I will do is I will go here and I will go in the uh, post table that way we can see uh, what data we need here okay so we need a user ID so let's go ahead and do post I'm gonna create a post and we need a user ID so this is why we needed to run the user uh, migration migration and user seeder first in order to to make this work that way we know uh, the user um, since the user is ID is a foreign key here so we need that and then how we're gonna do that is we're gonna run this called number between and then I'm gonna say 1 through 15 if you remember we created 15 users so this will randomly choose an ID from 1 or a random number 1 to 15 and it's gonna assign that as the user foreign key 
and in this case it's not going to fail because we know we will have 15 users created so 1 through 15 same thing here we need a category ID as a foreign key if you remember we pre-populated three categories so we will need to run the same here faker number between but this time it's going to be one through three since we only created three okay uh, next thing is the title and for the title what i would do is i would call this called faker sentence so i'm going to say give me a sentence sentence need only one sentence here and then after the title we need a body so I'm going to use the sentence again here so I'm going to say faker and then sentence uh, and then I'm going to pass three here to make it a little bit longer since this is the body and we need a slug so slug faker slug now that we have the slug created at and faker daytime yep that's the variable daytime and then the last variable we need is updated at and faker daytime okay so now that we have the post seeder as well uh, last seeder we need is the reply seeder so let's go ahead and get that one done okay in this case I'm gonna create 50 replies so 50 replies there I'm gonna make sure I include the replies eloquent model so have models and then reply go and then save that and here reply create and let's go ahead and go to our replies here and then click on structure and see what data we need so we have a few foreign keys here is the user ID we know we created 15 users previously so we're gonna do number between 15 we have a post ID we know we created 25 posts from our from the previous seeder so I'm going to do 1 through 25 and if you remember here that's that's why the order here was important so we can pre-populate so we can populate this uh, foreign keys here and we don't and we don't get any errors and then we need a body so I'm gonna say here faker and then a sentence and let's make this I don't know uh, five I'm gonna put five but you guys can put anything you want in there 10 15 whatever and then created that and updated that and then daytime the last thing we need is the update at time so updated at faker daytime okay so now that we have all these three seeders and we have the order here correctly what we can do is we can go ahead and run this command and if you can see in our site here we have no data populated but once we run this we should see uh, 15 users created and then 25 posts and 50 replies so let's go ahead and run that so how do we do how do we run uh, what is the command so we do run php artisan migrate and I'm gonna refresh so basically dump what is in there and pre-populate everything refresh and you do a seed here and what this will do is once seed runs the migration you will also run the seeding which is what we created here to create all these users all right so let's go ahead and hit enter and you will see once this runs you see the migrations okay they were 
run back. Okay, so we have something wrong here. Um, update date, we misspelled one of them. Here it needs to be updated at instead of update. And everything else seems fine. So let me go ahead and rerun this one more time. And as you can see here, it rolled back the previous migrations, ran the new ones, and then ran the seeders. So that was good. Now let's go ahead and verify that everything worked. So if I go into here, let's go to the users table, and we see here 15 users created. Full names, emails, and everything else that we said, passwords, and created and updated our dates. Let's check the post. So we have 25 posts here created. replies and we should have 50 replies so we have 25 as you can only see 25 and I'm gonna say 100 here the view but we should only see 50 and as you can see here we see 50 replies go back here reload our page and you can see um, all the data populated so let me go to page 7 here and this one has five comments so let me go here and you can see all the comments Okay guys, thank you for watching this tutorial and we went over how we can use Faker, which is a Laravel package, uh, to pre-populate or populate data into our database for testing in development. Thank you for watching guys and uh, stick around for the next tutorial, which will be up soon. Thanks again.